Hey everybody, the Bong is here, ready to give you a brand new Let's Play Ultraman Towards the Future for the Super Nintendo. And of course, this is brought to you by GameIn1.com. Now, of course, this is based on the uh, animation show back in Japan, also known as Ultraman Towards the Future. We didn't get that show in North America. We usually don't get shows like that, unfortunately. But yeah, this is one of those games that I used to play as a kid, despite the fact that it sucks compared to all the other games i played. I guess when you live in a small community out by the bay and you have a limited option, you'll pretty much play anything that's there. Alright, let's get this started, shall we? Our first boss is Gudis. Now, I forgot to explain how Ultraman Towards the Future runs. It's basically like one level where you fight a boss. It's somewhat of a fighting match, but there's like nine levels. There's no actual levels, just nine fights, and that's it. Okay, let's start with the first one. Pretty nice graphics for its time. Alright, you get three minute matches, and X is to jump, A is to kick. And B is your punch. And Y is your special attack. Hold up while you're hitting A or B to do like a special, like a super move. Y is your special attacks and you need a level 4 finishing move or a level 4 special attack to finish off the boss. And you gotta watch out too. Because they do have special moves and they can piss you off to no end. You cannot finish off a boss until you use a level 4 finishing move. When you see finish by their health bar, that's when you can use it. I think it was called Burning Plasma, but I'm not 100% sure. But anyways, Buddhist wow. is quite easy. It gets harder later. Challenge next stage! No problem. Not like I have a choice. And yet, you have limited continues. You see that 2 there by Ultraman? That tells you how many lives you got left. The more points you get, the more chances you'll get an extra life. No extra life? Okay. Alright, stage 2 is Bowgun. Yeah, it kinda looks like Godzilla, only got like 2 weird horns. Yeah, trust me, the bosses look very, very weird. But pretty cool, too. I mean, look at Bogan's lower body, if you can actually see it behind the buildings. Like, it's like an actual head down there for a torso. I think the uh, Japanese Ultraman, like there's a second game that was, that was not released in North America, actually had a shield. I don't remember if you can use it here, but if you can use the shield, you can use that to reflect attacks. Hold down and right, or down down and forward or down and away to a roll. Sometimes it helps evade moves, but it doesn't really help you that much. I usually like to spam the diving kick. It sometimes works and sometimes it doesn't. Oh yeah, level 4 has me burning plasma. You can see the initials right there. No, it's not the same BP that fucked up the Gulf of Mexico. Don't get nervous. We're not going to be using them. Alright, now I'm just going to keep softening up until I get my level 4 move ready. But now, Burning Plasma for the win! Pretty sad they only give you 3 minutes of battling. I guess it has something to do with that battery on front. Because that little jewel on the front of Ultraman's chest, I believe that's some kind of battery power-up. Which gives Ultraman a super power to grow. I think that's what I heard. I never watched the show, but some people have told me about it. I think I have to get 50,000 points to get a continue. Ah, Degala. Oh, that's a mug you don't want to chug. It's like he just wants a hug, he really does. It's like he's so happy to see me, but I'm not happy to see it. Looks like I'm in Australia or something. Ah damn, I was gonna get a throw. Mm, 
Oh yeah, like up and wide, that's your uh, special move, I mean your shield. But it does absorb some energy, so use it only when you have to. Like if you know you're gonna get hit by a range attack, that's when you can use the shield. Sometimes I'll reflect back at him. Or just nullify damage altogether. I think some moves can be reflected. I'm not sure if it's in this game. Ah, damn. Okay, I'm almost winning this fight. Okay, if I get a good kick, I'll hit a burning plasma, and I should be done. Okay, hit him one more time. Just gain some health back. If you use burning plasma when he's still got a tiny bit of health left, it's not gonna kill him. Oh my god! He just recovered health as soon as Burning Plasma hit him. Great, so that prolonged the battle even more. You can too choose just to dodge him if you wish, just to get some more health back yourself. But it doesn't really help if you need to soften him up too. Luckily his attacks are quite easy to dodge at some points. Okay, I'm at level 3 now. Okay, now he's gonna start trying. That's no good. Come on, I'll say There we go. One more hit to it. There we go. Okay, well, so far that was the longest fight, but not the hardest. Okay, we're off to a really good start. No problems here. Okay, let's get the points. Ah, oh, I guess I should continue. So it is 50,000 points. Alright, stage 4 is Barangus. Look at him with his Triple H nose and Barack Obama ears. Oh, it's on now. I think when I played this as a kid, Barangus gave me the most trouble, and then it was the final boss. Alright, let's do this. The thing about Brang is he has these poison clouds attacks. That's his most lethal move. But my lethal move is skill. I'll just do a key shot. I think that's what it's called. That's what the K in that is. Key shot? I'll just say that. It could be something else, but remember, I never watched the show, so... I would not know. God damn. Stop hitting me with your Tony Danza breath. We all know that shit's lethal. And I have no reason to use a special move until I get burning plasma. Okay, I'm done ahead of hell. That's not good. God damn. I'm gonna hit you. Let me hit you. We're only prolonging the inevitable, Brangus. I won't do it in a minute. Why did Degla get like that rising from the heavens kind of thing? Like whenever I killed him, a lot of stars went up. Everyone else just exploded and died. Okay, that's stage four, and there's nine stages in this game. So I'm pretty much reaching the halfway point right about now. Okay, time to do stage 5. Gudis 2. 350 feet, 34,000 tons. Kind of looks like he got asparagus or artichoke on his head. But yeah, he's a lot tougher than the original Gudis. There's something that looks like a foreskin. I mean, look at it. Damn, bubble beam. Hey, just as long as my speed does not slow down. Oh, damn. Damn. Look, that's the best you can do, spit bubbles at me. Okay, I'm gonna have to, like, play a little defensive game here. I mean, the bubbles can only go so far. Yeah. 
Let's get the right amount of shots in. Right in the face. I'm not careful. That could be my first death here. Ooh, that was nice. Let's let dodge our shots. Hey, 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 hey don't, don't go near me. Get some cheap shots of my own. Some more kicks to the face. Good, I stopped him before he can use Bubble Beam. I don't know any of these monsters and what their moves are called. I'll just call them what they look like. This reminds me of Pokemon, that's why I call it Bubble Beam. Okay, I almost got Burning Plasma up. And now it's helped in the red. Perfect. That's the strategy you want to use against Gears 2. Unless you have more skills with this than I do, then, well, do whatever you want. Uh, one more for good measure. Right in the neck! There. Okay, we're doing really good here. I haven't lost a life yet. That last fight was a bit tough. Anyways, I'm gonna stop the video right here. Stay tuned for the next part when I do stage 6. Alright, see ya everyone.